I'll just close by again thanking all 11 of you, now all 12 council members for supporting this resolution and this incredible show of unity as we move forward with both incremental short term changes like the temporary restraining order that we adopted last Friday or other action steps that we will take through our budgets or upcoming decisions, all of which have in community engagement built into that process that the city council hosts through hearings and other mechanisms, but also to embark on a much deeper conversation which requires much broader and deep community conversations to really transform how we are approaching public safety in our city. You know, the people in Minneapolis are tired of hearing um, commitments for change and people in Minneapolis are tired of protesting in the streets every time police kill someone in our community um, and then seeing it happen again. And that is what has led to massive protests, not just here in Minneapolis, but in cities across the country and cities across the world. George Floyd's death has already inspired city councils in other US cities to make change. We saw here, we very quickly adopted the changes in the temporary restraining order as a very first step 